Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is part two of Undead Horde, and this is a special war because this is our first war. This is the War Machine's very first outing here. And let's see how we're doing. We're up by 4,500 points. Yeah, so we started out with no, obviously no war score, so... Apologies to the opponents that we're going to have in the beginning here. There's some growing pains. Um, oh yeah, we've got a pretty good core in this alliance already. We've still got openings. We've got um, 11 people. So, yeah, hopefully after this war, we will plus up a little bit more. But... Let's take a look at what we've got at hand today. With the opponents that are left on the board here, it looks like D. John. This team, Tweedles, is a pretty nasty tank there. 600% damage to a random enemy. And deals 600 damage to another random enemy. Yep. All right. So... Tweedles hits hard. Zamara hits hard. Probably don't want to take any mana buffs here. See, I don't really have any any buffs except Zamara. And I am going to take... Let's look at this. Throwing rock in there. I want to test out Lemonwood. So... There we go. Yeah, I think we're good to go. All right. Well, they are not giving us any sort of advantage with the board. That's for sure. This is pretty ugly. Um, let's see. I could take this match, see if I can get a diamond. But, uh, I mean, I could take this blue, I would push this over, which would end up giving a dragon bomb. Still a bunch of tiles into Tweedles, which is not what I want to do here. Uh, let's see. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and make this first match here with the blue. See if I can get a, a holy there. It did, so that worked out well. Now we'll do this. And I will take this here. All right, that's really going to hurt. But we get the heal. Now, I want to take the holy match. Ah, oh, this battle is going to be brutal. Okay, right, let's just do this. Now, so Lemonwood's mechanic is really interesting, and it's most effective when everyone's got mana. So now's not a bad time, actually. Let's go ahead and fire Lemonwood at Zamara, see how many hits we can get. Yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, let's just take her out. All right. One down for number two. 
we'll go here. Now, Tank's definitely strongest hero here. I'm going to read this card because I have not actually, I don't know if I've ever fought Tenebrae before. So it deals 395 damage to the target. Target gets soul bound for three turns. This effect can't be cleansed. All damage received by the caster is also dealt to all soul bound enemies. I bet it will be. Bet I'll be able to get rid of it with the dancing. So give this a shot. Lots of ailments here. Yeah. Water damage, mana cut. We've got the soul boundedness, fire damage. All right. It will. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Gives me a blue and sets up this, which leads to this. All right, we are now soul bound. Board clear here. I will take this ice match. Wow, four star troops are heroes go down so fast. All right. Before, oh wow, that did not even. All right. Let's go ahead and fire off a couple specials here. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Heck yeah. Okay. So they actually have double limit broken heroes and Catalan so they can dodge I have chain for the steel this is a decent team I mean not crazy but it's decent it's just four star troops let's see I need a team that's not going to have any buffs which means I probably need, hmm, let's just take this team. That's right, Pepper Flame. So no buffs, and we are probably just going to want to take out the middle because Ojima can be very damaging, that mana cut. Okay, let's see. We've got two red. Chances of this bringing up diamond are none. So I'm going to take this red first before I take this. Okay. Mm, how can I do this? Probably just... Take the take this without the dragon bomb, so that the red goes all the way to the top, and then I can take this match. And I'll just get rid of them. I will take a ghost in blue. And we'll see if I can end this before any of them can even fire. Uh, 
Yep. Okay, here. Wow, just season one heroes with ninja troops. That's interesting. So. This team is pretty crazy. Yeah, no holy for her to go crazy on. All right. Let's take this blue. And I'm going to do it this way. If I can get a blue somewhere down here. Got that. That's nice. Wow. Okay. Let's go this way. Man, older heroes with four-star troops. It's like going against three-star heroes at this point. This team is damaged, but aren't we all... We're going to go goblins here. Okay, one thing I don't like about this is that dead boot only dispels one, but it comes down to that then I'll just have to deal with it. Dead Boot and Lotus are a pretty good combo. Even though they've got the counter attack. Okay. Mm, let's just do this and then do this. If I can get a red. Somewhere here. That is not how I wanted those to fall, but okay. Mm, let's just go ahead and do this. He's going to fire anyways, so I might as well cascade a little bit. Like this. Let's see here. Hmm, how many hit points does he have? It's a lot. It's a lot of damage that I would take. It would kill him, but I don't necessarily want to take that much damage. So I will take this match, which will allow me. Deal a little more damage to him this way. Or maybe not. <laughs> All right. Let's just get him out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Get dead boot up there so that I can hit a side here. And I don't want Ginger to have her buff. So I'll just go ahead and take that buff from her. Now I'm not going to kill Ginger because I really do want her buff. All right, looks like so this is interesting. I wonder if he's going to fire her special or if he's going to fire his own special. Let's Let's see. I'm going to fire my special here and then see if he hits both of them with his own special here. 
No, he fired her special. That's interesting. <clears throat> All right. All right, so I'm just going to take my regular mana team. I thought about messing around and trying maybe grabbing some three-star heroes or something, but uh, there's no sense in that. I will just go in here and do the clear. And this mana team is crazy because it, I get the cycle with these two, but then Queen Gawang also adds to the craziness. So it's a pretty cool team. And not much of a way to play around. All right. And it's all over. All right. <clears throat> Not the, um, you know, most challenging or thrilling war, but we'll get there. Once we get some more score up and the opponents will get a little harder. All right, so if you're interested in joining an alliance who's got a couple of free wars coming towards them, <laughs> you want to test out some of your teams and get some feedback, uh, this alliance is pretty fun. We have a line group where we're posting all of our war attacks and analyzing them. So it's very active, lots of strategy, and it makes the game much more interesting. So. All right, hope you enjoyed it and hope you had good luck in your war and I'll see you in the next video.